Hello there guys and welcome back to Leeds United Career Mode Episode 9. In this video we uh, face local rivals Barnsley who are uh, struggling in the uh, league. Uh, we're not doing too bad, uh, we've had a few losses, uh, won most of our games, seem quite comfortable and we've acquired a few new nice signings. So let's crack on and see if we can beat Barnsley and uh, we've also got the next round of the Capital One Cup which is against Wolverhampton Wanderers which will never be an easy game. So I'm going to get into the game now, we're at the East Point Arena wherever that is and uh, Barnsley are going to kick us off here. Uh, Barnsley are a very big team, defensively uh, very strong so to break them down is going to be very difficult and I'm just trying to make a nuisance of myself already. Charge down the ball. Uh, Masui uh, passes it to Varney, but unfortunately Varney is just straight offside and uh, Bansley can breathe a sigh of relief. He wasn't offside. I didn't think he was then, actually. Marginal. Uh, McCormack puts the ball to Varney and Masui uses his pace down the wing. That's a lovely ball. Maybe should have had it back and Tong has a shot, which is... Very poor and straight at Luke Steele. Uh, good pressure though, early on, another shot there. Uh, Luke Steele saves well from Naki Wells. Naki Wells was running and ragged already. Uh, he just ran it through him and uh, has a shot there and he's unlucky not to score. It's a great save in the end and the resulting corner, nothing comes from it. Uh, Barnsley defend well and look to break. However, they just give the ball away. Uh, McCormack thinks about having a shot, cuts in the inside, gives it to Masui who strikes it at the Barnsley uh, defender and that is straight at the keeper again and Barnsley can clear the lines. Uh, Naki Wells again coming forward trying to put the ball through to Luke Varney. This is towards the end of the first half now, We're getting a little bit uh, annoyed at the uh, amount of chances I'm spurring. Barnsley have had a few themselves but look how many defenders they've got back and that is not a bad effort again by uh, Naki Wells. That is really unlucky. Uh, lovely turn there. He absolutely does his defender. And uh, in the end, the goalkeeper has it covered, really. That's Stephen Warnock has the corner. Can we get anything on it? No, it's back to Austin, though. Should really have a shot from there. Naki Wells does have a shot. It's blocked well by Barnsley. Sam Byron passes it to Tong. Uh, Naki Wells looking to get a shot off. Tries to thread it through to McCormack, but he just can't get on the end of it. And he just cannot get on the end of it. Uh, now we are getting towards the end of half time. Uh, Naki Wells desperately trying to get the ball through. He has done so much. McCormack and he's smashed it into the bottom corner. And just on the verge of half time, we have our first goal. We finally broke through the Barnsley defence. That is a lovely through ball by Naki Wells, and Ross McCormack wasn't going to miss from there. And we are 1 0 up just on the stroke of half time. I think that might have actually been the last action of the half. Uh, no, Barnsley had one more chance just before half time. A lovely free kick, and that's a free header, and you should do better. And I was really annoyed that. We just let him have that. Anyway, that was half time. 1 0 up. Uh, pretty comfortable. Quite happy with the way my team have played. And uh, I'm going to keep the team as it is for now and see if I can get that second goal, which will seal the game. Badsley came at us in the second half, though. Uh, looked to determined to get one back. And they would have, but for some great defending by Scott Wharton uh, to win the ball back. and. We look good on the counter, to be honest. We've got some pace now in Naki Wells and Masui. And Ross McCormack is no slouch either. He's quite quick when he gets going. So we've really got some pace going forward. Uh, Austin using his strength there, uh, bundling the Barnsley player to the floor. And uh, Barnsley look quite comfortable on the ball now. They not look unsettled anymore. They looked a bit unsettled in the first half. They seem to have... Uh, gain some composure but they've lost the ball there and Luke Varney puts it through to Naki Wells who strikes it at Steele and Steele comes out well and saves comfortably in the end uh, looking to hassle them uh, 
funny enough, Hassel on the ball. And uh, we managed to win the ball there. And Luke Varney scores the second goal for us. And Barnsley will feel very aggrieved by that for the simple fact that one of their players is down injured. Uh, maybe I should have put the ball out. I don't know. But it's a great finish in the end by Luke Varney to smash it into the top corner. And we are now 2-0 up. Uh, Naki Wells again coming forward, trying to get that third goal and really kill the game off. Um, that is well won by, uh, I beg your pardon, I don't know who it is, and Masui has a shot there, and uh, I think it took a deflection in the end for a corner. Indeed it did. Uh, Stephen Warnock takes the corner, and we are not winning any of these corners at all. They dealt with that set pieces really well today at Barnsley, and that might be something we need to work on. Uh, there's some lovely passing football here to uh, Wells. Wells cuts on the inside. That's another great save by Luke Steele to deny Naki Wells, who's been on top form today, and he's been unlucky not to get on the score sheet. On that note, I decided to make some changes, bring uh, young uh, Chris Dawson on and uh, Dominic Paul on as well. Um, Michael Tong there, not looking very happy. Probably not because he's coming off. Uh, decides to make three changes in the end. Decides to bring Hunt on as well and give him a chance and uh, give McCormack a rest since we've got a Capital One game coming up next. And uh, Austin there absolutely dicks his man, runs it past him. He's been a beast today. He's been on top form. That's a lovely. Uh, no, it's really not a lovely pass. Oh, he's a horrible pass. And Chris Dawson there, a few sheer determination, almost gets himself on the score sheet. Again, it's a good save by Steele, but I don't know what the uh, Barnsley player is doing there. He's just playing with the ball in a dangerous area, and I nearly punished him. But unfortunately, I couldn't. And again, we don't win the header. But this time we win possession, and that is a really poor pass by Naki Wells. Barnsley had a chance to get one back in the bitter uh, depths, but that is a fantastic tackle by Jason Pierce. That's unbelievable uh, timing. If we got that wrong, it's a penalty and he is off. And, and that's a great line by our defenders. Good talking in there and uh, we deal with that and that will probably be it for the uh, win. Three points at home. Against Barnsley, I wouldn't have expected any less, to be honest, but I am still delighted with the fact that we're going to be bringing it home and uh, unfortunately someone is injured there for us. I hope that's not too serious. Uh, like I say, we've got a game in two days against Wolves. Uh, Dominic Pollon here breaks through the defence and tries to cross it in and that has hit his hand. There is no doubt about it, but it's not deliberate, so the ref plays on and that's it guys we win 2-0 Luke Varney and Ross McCormack with the winning goals gotta be pleased with that Barnsley a tough outfit at home or away definitely away uh, that'll be a harder game and as you can see we've got Wolves on the Wednesday which is why I'm uh, a bit tentative about playing certain players uh, I really want to be able to give them a rest but I'll do what I've got to do. So, Varney, the name on fans' lips. It's been a purple patch for Luke Varney as the Leeds United player has been a driving force for the team and cemented his value has also attracted scouts from other teams. Wow. You know, I never thought that at the start of the season. And anyway, as you can see, it's at home, the Capital One Cup game. So, let's get it on. This is going to be a tough game. Wolves are no slouches whatsoever. They may be in League One, but uh, there's no such thing as an easy game in the Capital One Cup. Uh, Gabe will dig a rare run out. Uh, he's not really featured for me much since I purchased him. And uh, Varney, I decided to give Varney another crack and see what uh, we can get from him today. Uh, we started on the front foot in the 13th minute. Uh, we pressured them into this. Uh, Varney uh, passed it to Wells, and Wells has a shot on that. He should score. 
he should absolutely nail that into the bottom corner and he hasn't and that's disappointing but Naki Wells makes up for it through sheer determination scores our first goal and uh, ba uh, Barnsley sorry Wolves will feel hard done by there because it's it's just a defensive mix up I mean Naki Wells is extremely lucky not once but twice and in the end it's a good finish a good composed finish and in the 18th minute we are 1-0 up already which is great stuff uh, Wolves aren't going to give in though and uh, they certainly didn't right after that goal actually they had a really good chance to uh, level the scores and luckily that was just wide for us but I think Paddy Kenny's got it covered all day long uh, it's a lovely flick on and it's not a bad effort as well and I'm lucky to see that wide to be honest I'm quite pleased that went wide because uh, even if it is at Paddy Kenny, uh, he spilled it into the path of an oncoming striker and it's probably a goal. And We're letting them play a bit too much here and I'm trying to win the ball back and it's not really happening for me. And If he just got that ball through then he, I was in real trouble because there was no defender tracking him at all and Will Dig here is going to try and make a name for himself. Barney passes it to Masui who is onside needs to get the cross in and this time it's a poor cross and Hennessy will deal with it all day long again coming forward Naki Wells using his pace and uh, LBOB using his strength manages to win the ball back and Hennessy will gather uh, quite comfortably wasting as much time as he can by the looks of it Wolves possibly uh, just going to settle for another goal and then penalties and again, we're coming forward. Luke Varney looking for an opening. Passes it to Wells. Needs to pass it back. Does to Austin. Austin has a shot and it's hit the post. And oh, it's nearly in from a rebound from the defender. But he manages to clear just in time. Great defending there by the Wolves defender. And I'm really unlucky not to be 2-0 up by an own goal. Never mind hitting the post. That's a really poor pass and there. Uh, Jason Pierce has had no choice there but to side him down. A rare poor pass by Byron uh, as gifted Wolves a free kick. And Pierce had no option but to take Sigerson down. And uh, Sacco's going to take this free kick. And he can hit them. Oh, and he has. He has. It's, it's a brilliant free kick. I cannot deny it. And uh, it's all square. Wolves are back level and they've got it all to do again. And is it going to be one of those days for us? Uh, move the wall a few times, but there's absolutely nothing Paddy Kenny can do with that. I mean, it's a fantastic free kick. He couldn't have hit it any better. Uh, Paddy Kenny's clutching straws there. It's past him before he even knows it. And it's 1-1. Oh, we've got it all to do again, guys. But we will not give up. Uh, McCormack has a shot and Hennessy manages to deal with that annoyingly. But uh, Wolves panic and put it out for a throw-in and maybe we can get something from this. They decide to make a change and bring Pinter on. I have no idea who that is. So we'll just leave it at that. Uh, Warnock throws it to Austin. McCormack. Oh, that is a poor, poor pass and... Wolves are going to break here and I need to win the ball back because it's two on two here. And if they manage to get it through when they have and he's just offside. Thank the Lord he was offside because I don't think Paddy Kenny was going to get there. And he isn't offside, he's level. He's bang on level there and I'm lucky that has been ruled offside. And on that note, I'm going to make a few changes because Wolves are putting me under the cosh a little bit and I'm getting a little bit scared. So we've got a few tired players. Ross McCormack uh, played the other day, tired. I'm going to bring Paul on for him. Dawson is going to come on for Wildig, who's done absolutely nothing since I signed him, and he's been very, very disappointing. I would have liked to have brought Varney off, but I really don't have anyone to replace him with, so we'll give him a little more of a run out and see how it goes. And Wildig... It always shows the player that's coming off. He'll be disappointed with his performance today, and rightly he should be. I don't know what to do with him, to be honest. He's uh, a bit of a Ryan Hall. He's just not done enough. I mean, oh, what a ball that is, though, to pull on. And, oh, he's just taken the touch too many. And that's a great clearance by the Wolves defender. The overhead kick is uh, always welcome. And 
that was it guys it's extra time again in the capital one cup i really could do without this it's gonna be tough to get something from this game before penalties now because my players are spent but that is a great ball to Vani who's uh, had a bit of a bad touch. Tried to cross it in and another fantastic clearance. Only as far as Masui who has a shot but that's straight at Hennessy and he's going to deal with that all day long. Straight down his throat. Wastes enough time. Bloody hell. Austin passes it to Vani. Vani looking to get the shot off. Passes it to Polion. Can he get anything on it? Naki Wells. No he can't. No he can't. All he had to do was thump it and that was 2-1. Oh, on the brink of extra times half time and we are getting pretty desperate here I really do not want penalties because I'm not brilliant at them and uh, I'm sure Wolves will settle for them he's evaded that challenge very well and he's also evaded that challenge very well and the referee blows for the uh, first half of extra time to end and uh, Wolves will obviously be a lot more comfortable with penalties than I will. So, really, we need to get a goal. So, I did the unthinkable full all-out attack. And Austin tries to spur on an attack here. Warnock, who's had a very good game, runs it down the channel, wants it back. But Austin has other ideas, passes it to Varney. Varney passes it to Wells. Dominic Pollon passes it to Varney. And Varney loses the ball and Wolves will clear here. And I need to be careful they don't break because, like I say, I've only got three at the back now. I'm on all-out attack. 113th minute now. Getting a little bit desperate. Naki Wells puts a lovely through ball to Austin. And, oh, he's missed. Oh, how's he missed? Oh, it was easier to score and it's inches wide. Oh, it's a sitter for Rodolf Austin and he's missed it. It's a lovely through ball and he should score. Oh, we need to take these chances now because we are running out of time. 118th minute. We need to put the ball through. No, we've gone a different route. Masui runs it down the channel. Trying to get a cross in now. Gets a cross in. It's a poor touch by Pollen. But he turns and has a shot. And it's gone in. It's gone in. 120th goal. Sorry, 120th minute and we've scored. That is literally going to be the last kick of the game. Absolutely thrilled with that. Wolves will be absolutely destroyed. It's gone through the defender's legs. I don't think Polo knows much about it. It just turns, shoots and hopes and it's gone in. I can't believe it. We're going to win this game before penalties and I'm... Oh, God. I need to get my breath. <laughs> what a game. What a game this has been and that is it. That is it. We have won. We are through to the next round. And Wolves will be absolutely heartbroken at that. I have no idea how we have won that game because credit to Wolves they have pushed me all the way and in the end I've been very very lucky uh, Dominic Pollon super sub puts it in I have no idea how and we are in the next round of the Capital One Cup Whew. wow anyway uh, there's delight over Wells I'll tell you about that shortly that Naki Wells is doing as well as we thought he would. Sorry, I had to put that in there. I know, that's terrible. And as you can see, we are currently 12th in the league. Played eight games. 12 points. Bit of a poor run, in all fairness. Uh, hoping that we can turn that round. Uh, Birmingham City, our next opponents, are 14th. So, I will see you guys for the next episode for that game and many more. Uh, if you've liked this, let us know in the comments or give us a like. It's much appreciated. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.